In this video, I'm going to tell you how to install Zero extension in your Zoho CRM account. This is the document which will be provided to you. Please make sure that you read this document and understand it completely. First of all, you need to open this link. I've already opened it. Here it is. Now you need to go to My Apps. When you click on My Apps, it will ask for your credentials to log in. Please provide that. After that, you need to click on New App. In New App, it will ask for some information please provide the app name and company url which is provided in the document here it is copy this link paste it here now click on um, uh, add on uh, add an authentication callback to main callback to main this is the callback domain provided in the document. Copy it from here, paste it here. Check this checkbox. Click on create app. It will create your app and generate customer key and consumer secret. After this, you need to add your organization in the uh, zero account. And this is the link which is provided in the document you need to go you need to open this link and provide the, your company information and start trial i have already created my company name techloys after this we need to create a, a soho crm developer app open this account open this url click on add client id client name voice client domain and authorized street trip URA. Please provide this URL in client domain as well as authorized redirect URIs. Make sure it is web page. Click on create. It will provide a client ID and client secret. Copy this and paste it in your notepad file. Close this. Now, for to install the zero, to install the zero extension, we need to generate a refresh token. It is provided in the link. Please open this link provided in the document. Follow the steps which are provided in the document. And here in step two, it says, Click this and open self client. We will go here where we created a client ID. Click here. Self client. It will ask for a scope from this document here. Copy these scopes. Paste it here. Make it 10 minutes and click on view code. The code will generate this and you need to copy it and paste it on the notepad file. And then go here. Here provide the client ID, which is this. Client secret. This is the client secret. Copy and paste it here. Redirect URI that was in the document we provided while creating the CRM app. Here it is. Paste it here. This is the code that generated. Copy it and paste it here. Click on submit. It is uh, it generated a refresh token. Copy this token and paste it in the document word document. Please make sure. Okay. Now go to the document. This is the link. For here it is. 
this is the links link for extension copy this link make sure you are logged in logged in into the whole crm paste it here press enter zero invoice generator extension details check this click on install agree and continue you can choose whatever you want from here and then confirm it is installing the extension after this it will ask for these keys and you need to provide them customer key when you created the zero app it provide a customer key and consumer secret copy this paste it here copy paste here crm refresh token which we generated and copied it on notepad this is the token copy this token paste it here client id this is the client id copy paste here this is the client secret copy paste and then click on save make sure you enter the correct details and after this it will generate two modules invoices and sales order now if i'll go to sales invoice sales order if i'll go to sales order and i'll create a new sale order and give it a subject test oh choose the company test and delivery date please provide the delivery date let's say 26 and add up line item uh, if i'll quantity quantity you can say 100 and add, click on add products this product is created click on save okay this sales order has been generated now click here and click on create zero invoice it will open a pop-up in which it will ask to select the organization that, that you have created select that organization allow access for 30 minutes after every 30 minutes it will ask again click here to view your invoice in zero click this is your invoice that has been generated in zero this is the total click on save it's saved here now if i'll open my sales order then i'll see there will be four additional input fields which will be zero invoice number zero invoice id zero tax account code zero invoice status please make sure don't delete never delete never ever delete zero invoice id and if i'll refresh it these fill, fields are filled with invoice number invoice id and it says here the invoice status has been created and if uh, now if i added this sales order it will automatically update on zero uh, zero account click on edit add line item provide the code of line item quantity to add products and save now if i if you go to update zero invoice it will open and pop up and you'll choose the company allow access after 30 minutes
click here to view the noise in zero. The invoice has been updated in zero. You can see this is the pro uh, this is the product that we added. Save. The product has been added. Edited. And if we'll go to our sales order and refresh it. It will show the zero invoice status has been updated.